Hail, Emperor, those who are about to die salute you. The grandeur of ancient Rome is often epitomized by its architectural marvels, political prowess, and military conquests. However, hidden beneath the surface of this glorious civilization lies the untold history of a unique and enigmatic aspect of Roman culture, the gladiators. Far more than mere entertainers in the arena, these warriors lived a complex and often brutal existence that reflected the intricacies of Roman society. This video delves into the untold history of ancient Rome's gladiators, revealing the multifaceted nature of their lives and the significance they held in the eyes of both the populace and the ruling elite. The origins of gladiatorial combat can be traced back to ancient funeral rituals, where warriors would engage in symbolic combat to honor the deceased. Over time, these rituals evolved into public spectacles, and the gladiatorial games emerged as a distinct form of entertainment. Initially reserved for funeral commemorations, the popularity of gladiatorial contests grew, eventually becoming a cornerstone of Roman entertainment. The spectacle of gladiatorial combat, an iconic feature of ancient Rome, did not emerge overnight. Its roots can be traced to a complex interplay of cultural, social, and religious influences that evolved over centuries. We'll explore the origins and evolution of Roman gladiators, shedding light on the fascinating journey from ritualistic beginnings to the grand spectacles that became an integral part of Roman society. The earliest gladiatorial contests had their origins in ancient funerary rituals. Evident in archaeological findings, depictions of warriors engaging in combat adorn tombstones and memorial sites. These symbolic battles were believed to honor the deceased and ensure their safe passage to the afterlife. The ritualistic nature of these early displays laid the groundwork for the transformation of gladiatorial combat into public entertainment. The Etruscans, who inhabited regions of present-day Italy before the rise of Rome, played a pivotal role in shaping the gladiatorial games. Etruscan funeral games involved combat between slaves or captives, and the Romans, impressed by the spectacle, adopted and adapted these practices. The subsequent integration of Etruscan customs into Roman society marked a crucial step in the evolution of gladiatorial combat. With the expansion of the Roman Republic, gladiatorial combat evolved from small, localized events into grand spectacles held in amphitheaters. The construction of the Flavian Amphitheater, famously known as the Colosseum, exemplifies the scale and grandeur of these events. These arenas, purpose-built for gladiatorial contests, became iconic symbols of Roman entertainment, attracting citizens from all walks of life. The shift from private funerary rituals to public entertainment was a gradual process. As Roman society underwent social and political transformations, the ruling elite recognized the potential of gladiatorial games as a tool for mass control and entertainment. The staging of elaborate games became intertwined with political agendas, with emperors using them to gain favor among the populace and showcase their power. The evolution of gladiatorial combat also manifested in the diversity of gladiator types. Each gladiator class had its own unique armor, weapons, and fighting style, contributing to the variety and excitement of the games. From heavily armored retiri wielding nets to lightly armed circuitors, the range of gladiator types reflected the dynamic nature of Roman society. The popularity of gladiatorial games persisted for centuries but eventually waned. Changing societal values, the rise of Christianity, and a growing distaste for the brutality of the contests contributed to their decline. In 404 AD, the gladiatorial games were officially abolished by Emperor Honorius, marking the end of an era. The origins and evolution of Roman gladiators trace a fascinating trajectory from symbolic combat in funerary rituals to the grand spectacles of the Colosseum. This journey reflects the dynamic nature of Roman culture, where rituals transformed into public entertainment, and the arena became a stage for both societal values and political maneuvering. The legacy of Roman gladiators endures as a testament to the complexity of human history and the intricate interplay of tradition, entertainment, and power in shaping ancient civilizations. Contrary to the popular perception of gladiators as slaves, many were free individuals who chose this perilous profession. However, a significant number were slaves or prisoners of war, condemned to a life of combat for the entertainment of the masses. Some free individuals willingly entered the arena, attracted by the promise of fame, wealth, or the chance to escape a life of poverty. The life of a Roman gladiator was a complex interplay of personal choice, social circumstance, and the allure of fame and fortune. Contrary to the common misconception that all gladiators were condemned criminals or slaves, 
the reality reveals a diverse range of individuals who willingly chose this perilous profession. Next we'll explore the social status and recruitment of Roman gladiators, shedding light on the intricate factors that led individuals from various backgrounds to enter the arena. While some gladiators were indeed slaves or prisoners of war, a significant number entered the Ludus, the gladiatorial training school of their own volition. These free individuals willingly chose the life of a gladiator, driven by a myriad of motivations such as the promise of wealth, social status, or the desire for a path out of poverty. The decision to become a gladiator was often a calculated one, reflecting the complex social and economic landscape of ancient Rome. Gladiators represented a cross-section of Roman society. They hailed from various social strata, including freeborn citizens, former soldiers, and individuals seeking an escape from the hardships of their daily lives. The diversity among gladiators challenged the stereotype that they were exclusively composed of slaves, emphasizing the complexity of individual choices and motivations. It is undeniable that a significant portion of gladiators were slaves or prisoners of war. These individuals found themselves thrust into the arena against their will, forced to fight for the entertainment of the masses. The grim reality for these gladiators highlighted the harsh conditions faced by those on the fringes of Roman society, as well as the exploitative nature of the ludus system. The training regimen within the ludus was notoriously rigorous, designed to forge gladiators into skilled and disciplined fighters. Regardless of their social status before entering the ludus, all gladiators underwent a transformative process that blurred the distinctions between freeborn citizens and slaves. The shared hardships of training often led to strong bonds among gladiators, creating a unique subculture within Roman society. Gladiators, despite their often marginalized status, held a unique place in Roman culture. The arena became a symbolic space where societal norms were both reinforced and subverted. Gladiators embodied virtues such as bravery and resilience, challenging traditional notions of honor while simultaneously providing a spectacle that captivated the Roman populace. For those who survived the arena, life after gladiatorial combat varied. Some retired with wealth and newfound social status, while others faced the challenges of reintegration into society. The post-gladiatorial lives of these individuals reflected the ambivalence of Roman attitudes toward those who had participated in the spectacles. The social status and recruitment of Roman gladiators defy simple categorizations, revealing a nuanced tapestry of individual choices, social dynamics, and economic considerations. From free citizens seeking fortune to slaves forced into the arena, gladiators represented a diverse spectrum of Roman society. The complexities of their recruitment and the shared experiences within the ludus offer a compelling glimpse into the multifaceted nature of this iconic facet of ancient Roman culture. Gladiators underwent rigorous training in specialized schools known as ludi. Training was brutal, intended to transform recruits into formidable fighters capable of captivating an audience. They honed their skills with various weapons and engaged in mock battles to prepare for the deadly contests. Despite the harsh conditions, a strong sense of camaraderie often developed among gladiators, who formed close bonds with their fellow fighters. The life of a Roman gladiator was not only marked by the spectacle of the arena but also by the grueling training and discipline within the walls of the ludus. We'll delve into the intricate process of training and discipline endured by Roman gladiators, shedding light on the rigorous regimen that transformed individuals from diverse backgrounds into skilled combatants, bound by a unique code of discipline and camaraderie. The heart of gladiatorial preparation was the ludus, a specialized training school where aspiring gladiators honed their skills. These schools, often owned by experienced gladiators or lanistae, were environments dedicated to forging individuals into formidable fighters. The structure of the ludus mirrored the hierarchical nature of the Roman military, emphasizing obedience and skill development. Gladiator training began with rigorous physical conditioning. Exercises included running, jumping, and strength training to enhance agility, endurance, and overall physical prowess. The demanding nature of these exercises prepared gladiators for the intense physical challenges they would face in the arena. Proficiency in various weapons was central to a gladiator's training. Different gladiator classes specialized in specific weapons, such as the net and trident for the retirius or the sword and shield for the secutor. Training sessions focused on mastering these weapons through drills, sparring, and simulated combat scenarios. Gladiator training encompassed a diverse range of combat techniques and strategies. Instructors, often retired gladiators themselves, imparted their knowledge to novices. 
Techniques included offensive maneuvers, defensive tactics, and strategies for facing specific opponents. Training scenarios simulated the unpredictability of the arena, preparing gladiators for the varied challenges they would encounter. To acclimate gladiators to the intensity of arena combat, Ludus instructors organized mock battles and arena simulations. These sessions allowed gladiators to practice their skills against fellow trainees, refining their techniques and developing the mental fortitude required to face the uncertainty of the public spectacles. The Ludus instilled a strict code of discipline among gladiators. Obedience to authority, respect for fellow trainees, and adherence to the rules of combat were paramount. Failure to follow the code could result in punishment or exclusion from the Ludus. This disciplined environment fostered a sense of unity among gladiators, transcending the diverse backgrounds. Despite the competitive nature of gladiatorial combat, a unique camaraderie and brotherhood emerged within the Ludus. Shared hardships, mutual respect, and the understanding of facing mortality in the arena forged strong bonds among gladiators. This sense of unity not only contributed to the gladiators' mental resilience but also enriched the cultural significance of their role in Roman society. The training and discipline of Roman gladiators were integral aspects of their journey from diverse individuals to skilled combatants. The Ludus served as both a crucible for physical conditioning and a forge for the development of discipline, camaraderie, and combat expertise. The discipline training within the Ludus not only prepared gladiators for the arena but also shaped their identity as a unique and closely knit community within the broader tapestry of ancient Roman culture. Gladiatorial combat was not only a display of skill but also a manifestation of societal values. The arena became a microcosm of Roman society, reflecting themes of bravery, honor, and the transient nature of life. Gladiators, facing the specter of death with each bout, embodied the precariousness of human existence, serving as both a cautionary tale and a source of fascination for the Roman populace. The arena, with its sand-strewn floors and towering stone walls, served as the ultimate stage for Roman gladiators. The culmination of their intense training and discipline unfolded in the public spectacles that captivated the citizens of ancient Rome. We'll shed light into the gripping and perilous life of Roman gladiators within the arena, exploring the challenges they faced, the cultural significance of their performances, and the stark realities of combat in the pursuit of glory and survival. The arena was the epicenter of Roman entertainment, where gladiatorial contests drew immense crowds eager for the thrill of combat and the spectacle of bloodshed. These public spectacles, held in grand amphitheaters like the Colosseum, were not merely sporting events but reflections of Roman values, societal norms, and the delicate balance between life and death. The life of a gladiator in the arena began with the grand entrance, or processio. Adorned in elaborate armor and wielding weapons, gladiators marched into the arena to the cheers and jeers of the crowd. Before the editor, the presiding official, they would offer a salute with the famous phrase, Avenue, Imperator, Morituri ti salutant, Hail, Emperor, those who are about to die salute you, emphasizing the precarious nature of their existence. The heart of a gladiator's life in the arena lay in the combat itself. Faced with opponents of varying skill levels and combat styles, gladiators employed the techniques learned in the Ludus to navigate the challenges of the arena. Strategies ranged from offensive maneuvers to defensive tactics, each gladiator vying for victory in a display of skill and courage. The arena was a theater of emotions, where the crowd played an active role in the fate of the gladiators. Cheers and jeers echoed through the amphitheater as the combatants clashed. Successful gladiators gained popularity and became celebrated figures, the names and achievements etched into the cultural fabric of Rome. For gladiators, the arena was a perilous battleground where the line between life and death was thin. While some bouts ended with a victor's triumph and the adulation of the crowd, others concluded in tragedy. The life of a gladiator was marked by the constant awareness of mortality, a reality that added a profound layer of depth to their performances. The arena hosted a diverse array of gladiatorial types, each with its own unique weapons and armor. The Retirius, armed with a net and trident, engaged in dynamic battles with the heavily armored Secutor. Each gladiator class brought its own flair to the arena, captivating the audience with specialized performances that added to the diversity of the spectacles. Victory in the arena could lead to wealth, fame, and perhaps eventual freedom for gladiators. Some retired to lives of relative comfort, while others faced the uncertainty of future battles. 
For those who fell in combat, death in the arena became a poignant moment of both tragedy and glory, immortalized in the collective memory of Roman society. The life of Roman gladiators in the arena was a multifaceted journey encompassing the thrill of combat, the adulation of the crowd, and the stark realities of mortality. Beyond the spectacle, the arena served as a reflection of Roman cultural values, societal dynamics, and the enduring human fascination with the complexities of life and death. The gladiators' performances, etched in the annals of history, continue to resonate as a testament to the resilience and indomitable spirit of those who faced the arena's challenges head-on. The gladiatorial games became a powerful tool for political leaders to assert influence and control over the masses. Emperors and politicians used lavish games to gain popularity, distract the public from social and political issues, and showcase their magnificence. The games also served as a means of reinforcing Roman values and ideals, reinforcing the concept of the virtuous Roman citizen who faced adversity with courage. In the grand amphitheaters of ancient Rome, the roar of the crowd echoed the popularity and political significance of gladiators and their games. Far more than mere entertainers, gladiators became cultural icons, capturing the imagination of the Roman populace and serving as powerful tools for political maneuvering by emperors and political leaders. Next, we'll explore the factors that contributed to the immense popularity of Roman gladiators and the pivotal role they played in shaping the political landscape of ancient Rome. Gladiatorial games were a cornerstone of Roman entertainment, captivating audiences of all social strata. The spectacles offered a visceral display of bravery, skill, and mortal combat, creating an electrifying atmosphere within the amphitheaters. The mass appeal of gladiator games transcended societal divisions, providing a shared experience that brought together citizens from diverse backgrounds. Emperors and political leaders recognized the power of gladiatorial games as a means of distraction and social control. Lavish games served as a potent tool to divert public attention from pressing social, economic, or political issues. By providing the populace with grand spectacles and moments of intense excitement, rulers could maintain a degree of social stability and appease a potentially discontented citizenry. Emperors often engaged in lavish displays of gladiatorial games to enhance their political standing. The sponsorship of games, known as munera, was a form of political patronage, demonstrating the emperor's generosity and commitment to the welfare of the people. Successful games bolstered the public image of rulers, helping to secure loyalty and admiration from the Roman citizens. Gladiators emerged as cultural icons, celebrated for their valor and resilience in the face of mortal danger. Successful gladiators gained fame, adoration, and a devoted fan base. The exploits of popular gladiators were immortalized in art, literature, and even graffiti, underscoring their enduring impact on Roman popular culture. The arena became a symbolic space where virtues and values highly regarded in Roman society were both celebrated and contested. The bravery, discipline, and resilience exhibited by gladiators mirrored the virtues idealized by the Romans. In this way, gladiator games became a reflection of societal norms, reinforcing the perceived moral fiber of Roman citizens. Emperors strategically used gladiatorial games to convey political messages. The selection of specific gladiator types, matchups, and outcomes could serve as allegorical representations of political events or ideological struggles. Skillful manipulation of the games allowed political leaders to shape public opinion and project an image of strength and control. Hosting grand gladiatorial games not only appeased the populace but also stimulated the Roman economy. The construction of immense amphitheaters provided employment, while the influx of spectators contributed to economic activity in surrounding areas. Additionally, the shared experience of attending the games fostered a sense of social unity, reinforcing a collective Roman identity. The popularity and political significance of Roman gladiators and their games were intertwined with the fabric of Roman society. From the grandeur of the Colosseum to the cheers of the crowd, gladiator games became a cultural phenomenon that resonated far beyond mere entertainment. As political tools, they allowed emperors and leaders to sway public opinion, project power, and maintain social order. In the grand amphitheaters of ancient Rome, the spectacle of gladiatorial combat became a mirror reflecting the complexities of politics, culture, and the collective psyche of the Roman people. The untold history of ancient Rome's gladiators unveils a complex tapestry of social dynamics, personal choices, and political manipulation. Beyond the spectacle of blood and combat, 
The lives of these warriors were shaped by a combination of individual agency, societal expectations, and the political machinations of the ruling elite. In understanding the untold history of gladiators, we gain insights into the multifaceted nature of Roman culture, where the arena served as both a mirror reflecting societal values and a stage for the dramatic performance of human resilience in the face of adversity. Thank you for watching. For more videos on science, history, and the liberal arts, subscribe, like on Facebook, and turn on notifications. It's important to grow the channel. Videos like this are a part of a series called Renaissance Spirit, more than just a philosophy or style, but a style for living, learning, growing and thinking. Check out my channel for more insights on the Roman Empire as well as my other videos. Take the quiz next to see if you're a Renaissance spirit. Live the Renaissance spirit.